Okay. We're here at Sedgley Park interview unit. Um, you've met my colleague, DC Story, who's just in the observation room. Obviously, you're aware that quite a serious incident has occurred. It's the start of a second day of interviewing. The police are hoping for a clearer picture from the remaining witnesses. What I'd like you to do, picture where you were mm -hmm. in your mind. Mm -hmm. If it helps, close your eyes. In as much detail as you can, is tell me everything you remember from yesterday, mm -hmm. from the point when things okay. started. Yeah, sure. Does that make sense? I remember very little, actually, but this is what I do remember. We were having lunch, I think it was around 2.30. There was two of them, I spotted them, with high-vis jackets on. And they were sat on one end of the bar, facing the lounge. While not everyone remembers what happened before the fight... It is all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Everyone recalls what happened once the shouting started. All of a sudden, you can hear the sounds of uh, a fighting going on. Trouble is, it's at this crucial point that our eyewitnesses remember things differently. In the process, you know, a glass was sort of like knocked off the bar and what have you as they were pushing each other. There was a few glasses thrown. And then it sort of led to sort of fist fighting and sort of all over the place, really. And There was no punching or anything going on. It was just one guy on top of the other one rolling around. One of them threw the other against the bar. The guy in the high-vis jacket was just standing over this other guy kicking him and he wouldn't stop kicking him. And then I heard somebody shout he'd been stabbed. I actually said to the person next to me, oh, I don't think he's actually been stabbed, they were just fighting. Shortly after that, somebody got up and goes, I stabbed him. I stabbed him. I don't know who had a knife, if anyone. I don't know who stabbed him, if anyone. I have to say that I don't know who was stabbed. OK. So I don't know if it was the first guy that was stabbed mm -hmm. or the guy who was with the fluorescent uh, jacket guy. By this time, the gentleman who shouted that I stabbed him, I stabbed him, he got up. And while this commotion was going on, he just kind of like, he just kind of like left. He didn't run. And the other two guys just got up and ran out of the pub. So I'm, I'm guessing that's not really very helpful. 